Okay, here we're going to build a controller. Um, so this is the PCB, um, the Open Labs PCB, which takes the components to drive the camera and to hold the uh, WeMOS D1 Mini and motor controller, all of them one little card, a uh, PCB. Um, so I have all the components here. I have my uh, screw terminals, my pin headers, DC to DC converter, uh, 2.5 mil um, jack socket, little switch, uh, two um, resistors, and two NPN transistors. I think that's about it. If there's nothing missing, I'll just grab it. So let's just move those out of the way. So we go for the uh, silk screen. We look at the way the uh, transistors are oriented and then we'll just insert those like that and solder them in. Okay, so I'm gonna solder those two in to bring down my magnifying glass. I think we're okay. Okay. So that's the... Let me see if I can get that. There you go. Okay. Snip those off. Resistors in. That looks all right. Let's get those two soldered on. Transistors done, two resistors done. Let's put on this guy. So how I like to put on the, the jack socket is I put a bit of solder on one of the pads. And then drop this into place so he should just nicely sink down. Just do the rest of the pads. Okay. Okay. 
Now, let's do the switch. Now, the thing about the design of the switch is that, or the, there's a slight problem with the switches I have in that they're not quite the right size. Well, they're, the, 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 as you can see there, that the, um, the outside legs aren't quite in the right position. And I think the pitch is slightly wrong as well. So just to make them fit, I just bend out the outside the casing and encourage them into place. All right. So you can see that that's gone in there and the pins are quite okay. So it's a pretty reasonable, um, pretty reasonable, let me just move that camera there so that it's in the center. Okay, so that's pretty reasonable there for that. So I'll solder those up now. Okay, switch done. Okay, now the DC to DC converter. So this is the DC to DC converter I like to use. It's a high efficiency, roughly 94 to 97% efficiency. So it takes anything from seven to 28 volts, outputs a nice stable five volts, five volts at 500 milliamps which is plenty for what we need we only need the wemos and the logic circuitry on the motor controller board however i found these guys let me just open them they're less efficient but they're a lot cheaper like these can tend to be maybe anything up to five euro or seven euro in places and um, if you're using treco power certainly i'm um, expensive enough However, these guys are roughly the same size. Now they're not as efficient, they're like 70% efficient, but for size-wise, uh, they're just as good. Um, so they can be, and they're adjustable output. So again, they'll take in a variable voltage and output, whatever you set with this uh, little mini pot there. Um, I've soldered one onto another board. So you can see the method I used to solder on the board, solder that on the board, and it's perfectly fine. It's just a little bit less efficient. Um, won't make a huge amount of difference, um, but it's um, it's just as neat. Um, but they're about I don't know less than a euro a piece um, from AliExpress. So anyway, um, let's just solder on these. Uh, this so this guy goes on like this, and. Uh, Maybe we'll put on the other guy. No, we'll put on that guy first. So I know the way it has been put on previously. So let's just get one pin on first and then push it into place. One pin. Okay, so that's nice and bedded down now. We could do the other two pins. Just make sure you get it the right way around, input and output that we've marked on. Okay, just did that the wrong way around. Let's just. Okay. So, recom. Now. So the recom is a bit tall, so we know that when we put on our motor controller that we're going to be, it's going to clear the motor controller. Now we're using a different type, which is, this is a different type, but it's just as tall and it's a bit smaller. But again, you can use anything. I mean, once they go on, it might look like they might be a bit tall, but 
there is a space between the motor controller and the um, DC to DC so right let's put that on maybe I should put it on on first so just to give it a little bit of a lift so again we get two of the pins on each end one two just make sure it's straight and in place not quite okay that's straight so let's do before soldering all the pins and just put them in place should have probably done the um, DC to DC converter last because it's taller than the rest of them. Okay, so let me check that for straightness. Okay, straight enough. In fact, let's use a motor controller. But you can match it up with the pins on the um, motor controller anyway. Okay, so if we just plug that in, we can see that there's a space between the DC to DC. And then we know they're all perfectly lined up, so let's just solder all of those in place. Yeah, look, okay. All right, now. If we put two on the WEMAS D1 mini section, so I think we can take that guy out now. Uh, so we have two more needed for the WEMAS D1 mini. So if we put those guys in, sorry, that not, okay, there we go. What we can actually do is put in the WEMAS D1 mini just to stabilize them in the right position. Okay, and then we solder those. Okay, reasonable. Okay, so that's the we must do one mini bit done. Uh, not a lot left to do really, um, apart from the screw connectors. Now these screw connectors, just to take those out of the way for a second, they slot together. So if you put them all in like this, just makes our job a lot easier when we want to solder them because they're all one lump of screw terminals. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten screw terminals and they should theoretically just pop in like that and then we can just solder them all into place. Okay. So that's it. Our components done, ready to go. So then we plug in our motor controller which I have flashed with the updated firmware, which stops it crashing. And there's the way, sorry, wrong way around. Just make sure you don't do that. Correct way around. And with the WeMOS D1 Mini Pro, there's still enough room above these guys to plug in a cable. If you use other WeMOSs, uh, the connector's on the bottom, so you may not have space, so you might need to lift it off in order to do the firmware. So that's the motor controller board. Then we can connect in our external antenna there and mounted to our time-lapsed rail dolly there you go in place okay